doing a stir. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here, back in the hole. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> we had a huge hurricane uh, come up through, and uh, so it was not a hurricane by the time it got to here, but it dumped a tremendous amount of water here. So unfortunately, with all the clay, it does not dissipate like we would hope it would. Uh, so we have to, for right now, bucket the water out of the hole. So what we did yesterday, we probably, what did we pull, 140 gallons out of here yesterday, Steve? Huh? Yep. Yeah. So. Pulled a bunch of water out of here yesterday. Uh, working on that again today. We're going to do some of the water now. We'll probably do about 20 buckets worth today, right now, and then come back maybe. We'll just see how this goes. So I can't start digging again until we get the water out of here. Now eventually, uh, I will have some drainage set up to be able to get this water out of here. I have a plan for that. I will explain that when we get to that point. The priority right now is to dig down to the level that we need to get down to, to be able to then block everything up. Uh, what I'm going to be working on as well. Now I'm standing on the one ledge, it's deeper down over here, because there's like the ledge here, there's a step down, actually I'll show you in a minute, I think I can, oh. So I'm going to step down to this next level, let's see, <laughs> yeah, so here I'm at the next level, I won't step down to the next level because I will be above my boots, but the, uh, it's really doing really good here, this was really high on this side as well, so I've almost got this ledge where I'm at cleaned off right now which is a good thing. The main reason this water doesn't soak into the earth very fast is because this is all clay. So The game plan eventually is to have something built over the top of this so we don't have this issue moving forward. 
Um, again, this week I have really good, the forecast is really good. So as soon as I get this cleaned out more, which obviously I'm in the process of doing now, uh, by the end of today we'll have all this water out of here. And that's the game plan for today. Tomorrow I will come in and I will start digging again. But uh, yeah, this actually is much, much better. I mean, yesterday's water was so high in here. It was absolutely crazy how much we had in here. It's awesome to have Steve here helping me. Otherwise, I would be looking at filling four buckets, climbing out, dumping them, and coming back and doing it again. With an extra set of hands, it makes a big, big difference what you can get accomplished, just saving you steps. Like I said, as we move forward, there's other ways we're going to be taking care of things, which is going to be fine. But for right now, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we have to do. It looks like part of the screen's cut off, but it's not. It's actually filming it. It's just that the camera had to that one spot. But you can see now the level of the water is definitely much, much better. Uh, we're making a serious dent in this, which is good, and it's just going to, like I said, it's just a matter of, uh, take a break after that one, dude. Hey. Thanks, boss. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's where we're at. Just going to bang this out. This is actually now where it's not, it's not going to take much longer to get this down, which is good. But, uh, yeah, I'm just... got a better ladder as we get lower so that I can get in and out easier which is going to make a big big difference as well so all right I'm going to fill these again and then I'm going to climb out of this hole and turn you off So now, if you see in this, this level's cleaned off, that area there's cleaned off, I just got this last bit here. So hopefully we're able to hear me okay, but that's the last bit. Uh, we should be able to take care of that pretty quickly actually, which is good, but uh, just making progress working on this uh, the amount of water that was in here was tremendous and so now with getting this squared away it's going to make a huge difference moving forward so uh, first step was I've never had that much water in this hole before but with all the rains that we got we got a, tr a tremendous amount of rain from Hurricane Ian the remnants of up here so that's why we had as much as we did in here. Uh, my next step, I have two next steps that I want to do, and I wanted to explain that to you really quickly. So I got that part there once I finish getting the water out of there. That's down to about seven feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out that corner here 
and I'm going to come up and do these other corners on the other side, get them all down to that seven foot level. And then what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do from there is I got uh, some heavy duty posts, which you will see once we get them into the hole and put together. I got the plywood. We're going to box it in uh, for safety, get the side squared away, uh, you know, the back wall and the front wall. And we're going to work on that that way. So uh, we'll have it uh, so it's a lot safer uh, moving forward. As I'm using the jackhammer uh, down here, I'm going to have the uh, fan blowing the air out of here. So the fumes and everything will come out of here. And, uh, you know, I got some other, other things that as we continue to get deeper that we're going to make sure safety. I got fresh air to breathe and all those type of things. So this is uh, the second episode of the bunker build. But, uh, you know, I wanted to show you every step of things that happen. I'm not going to just show you, oh, everything is great and everything is wonderful. No, you're going to run into things. Things are going to happen. And, uh, and that's okay. That's all part of it. So uh, this is just a little bump in the road, getting this squared away. But you look at from even what we just did here, the water was, you know, higher up here, and now we got it down to that level, which is fantastic. All right, I hope everybody's doing well. Remember, folks, we are all in this together. We are one race called the human race. As soon as we can figure that one out, we will be in much, much better shape. Also, remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important, and we tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. That's it, nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Um, I hope you're enjoying this start of this series. There's a lot of work to do here. Um, it's going to take some time, but I want to share every part of this with you so that you can see how this build goes. All right, I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, 